right, we have seen about adding the more tags and um, adding the links, the text links on the pages. And we're going to do some more things in, for the text that we can use on the pages and posts. Hang in there and let's go over to the top page and see what else we can take. Now we just added that more tag, and I don't really want one there. And the easiest way to take off the more tag is to go over to the HTML and see this uh, less than and greater than sign. You erase them and everything between that. A lot of times when you look at the HTML code, a lot of the codes will have that less than and then the greater than sign and everything between them all belongs to that same code section. And so you kind of want to get all that erased together or put together and you go ahead and update it and save it there. And we're going to go on into the next step here. Okay, right here is uh, this is spell check. Uh, if you want to, you can uh, change it to another language because maybe you're writing in something else, another language, and like French, in what spells write English is not going to be the same as French. They spell different from each other. So you can change that to the spell check of the language you want, and or even turn it off. But I'm not sure if it's turned off or not. But we're using English and we're going to keep in the English check there. Now here's another cool thing to help you here. Let's suppose you're writing a really long page and you're just concentrating on just the content. And you're wanting to work on that. And all this other stuff on the side kind of gets in your way. You hit this button here. That gives you more space to work with and you can just concentrate just on the content that you're putting in there. And when you're ready to do something else, hit that button again. This last little button here is what we call the kitchen sink. It adds those extra buttons down below. And we're going to go on into what some of those buttons do. Now, this is some formatting things that we have here. In this add some actually some HTML formatting code and things that you want in there. And let's say that um, we wanted something to be a new paragraph. And a lot of paragraphs are automatically done in WordPress, but you can just click on that. And then if you look over here, and it's not showing up over there, but it makes it as a new paragraph. Let's say that uh, you want a heading, and you want something to be showing up with whatever your theme is using for that heading, with the colors and the size and things like that. And it's taking everything there. I'm not sure why it's not moving everything. Let's try this again. Undo. And maybe it needs to do the whole line when you do that. Now let's try for heading. Okay. That needs to be that whole line that you have on there. And we'll change it like to a heading if you want. And there'll be different colors depending on your theme. A heading one, usually I just reserve something like that for the name of your blog post. You wouldn't really want to use the heading one. It may confuse the search engine and things. You can always do it like heading three. And I usually don't use this formatting. Usually uh, WordPress works pretty well doing what I want. Uh, but if you want them, they're there to use. Now let's suppose I got a book title and I want to underline it instead of a talent. Or something else I might want to underline. Just hit the underline button. It will underline it. Save it. It will show up as underline on your page. And let's see. Depends on your theme whether you think I'll let you do it. And how the CSS is set up. Yep, you can see the underline is there. So that's how you can underline any words you want to underline in your um, posts and pages. Now you can see back here when you start adding a lot of these things, it adds a lot of stuff that goes over to the HTML code. And sometimes it's kind of hard to get that back out when you want to go back to normal and clear out all that formatting. And so if you go back here, and you remember this greater than, less than sign, this is the HTML code that's being used for these different things. And then you can go ahead and go like that and get them on out of there. Go back to visual here. Um, let's say you want to use a certain color. Maybe you want WordPress to be a certain color. Then you can go here, click on this A. And you've got several colors to pick from. You can turn it that color. Maybe this is not the color you want. Click here to choose more colors. And here you can see colors. You just go around and see down here in that corner on the, uh, the square and it goes with that. And just apply it. And it makes a new color for you. 